All right, Coach. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the New Orleans Saints and the Atlanta Falcons. Let's go, let's go. First and ten, here's Brady. And his first pass here is going to fall incomplete. He was looking for Jamison Crowder there. And that'll bring up second down. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down? The offense or the defense? Let's face it, if you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll set up a third down. What you got? Huh? 20. 20. Mark, got... From the gun, it's Brady. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play, and the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. here on first down rolling to his right and he'll be brought down it looks like right at the 15. that will wind up getting nine after tucking it and running so it'll leave him with second and a yard i think the last two plays really illustrate how difficult it is to game plan against this guy because you know he can throw the football but how about his use of legs as well? What we call those broken plays, you can't account for them. Yeah, those plays, those two that you just mentioned, a microcosm really of how he can hurt you. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. They'll try and run for it. Here's Michelle. And he's going to lose yardage here back to the 14-yard line. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Well, so much for picking it up on the ground on third down. Third play of the drive in this defense. Showing strength. He's got the lead, and there he goes. 30, 20, 10. Touchdown, New Orleans. Gerald Everett, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Saints have taken the early lead. Brandon, my man, just one sentence for that one. Clinic. And that's what they've done. They lead the league in points per game this season, but it's been quick strike ability as we saw on that drive. I think they're actually intimidating defenses because they're back on their heels right away, wondering where it's going to come from, how they're going to hit them. This group is well organized, well coached, and extremely confident in what they do. And he'll get it up to about the 26 yard line just across the 25. Wait, 20. They go play action here on first down. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. And he went in route there from the slot for the completion. Love how he runs his routes because it's all setting up your defender. Give him a little something one way, take him the other way. Head and shoulder fake. Sometimes you make one step to the outside, then break it inside. Really well run route. Well, that throw by Brady incomplete. Brandon, it looked like he had his hands on it for a moment, but let, let's face it, that was going to be a tough catch all the way because of the presence of the defense right there as he was trying to haul it in. Yeah, nice job to force the incompletion. And very little room to maneuver. He'll get this down to about the 39. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. But well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. Here's Brady. And now a fumble. Brady loses the football. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because 
This is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Green now. Off the play fake. He'll buy some time right. That was going to let it go deep right sideline. Almost able to intercept it. That's one he would have liked to have held on to on his first drive. Instead, second down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. Throwing again, Green, and the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete, so he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. Right, you know a coach said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player, not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. Back to throw. Green, and incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. Brandon, their last miss on third down, they actually were able to alleviate it because they picked it up with a fourth down conversion. I don't know that they'd be wise to try and do that again here. To me, you got to punt the ball away. A good return there. Call it 13 yards. And the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. They begin the drive with Johnson, and they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. Airing one out for Crowder. He's got a man complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That one goes for 36 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. And Matthews has it right side. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this, and he's taken down here by the Saints. Keenan Robinson in there to drop him, and it'll be a loss of about eight. By 20, by 20. On third and long, it's Brady. Screenplay, Johnson. Oh, leaves him behind on the spin. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. 18 yards there and a first down. And I know you can't really see it, but that play spells frustration with a capital F for the guys on defense. They covered everyone else, end up going to the running back out of the backfield. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Mike Daniels. He's the one that got to him. He takes him down for a loss of nine. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Working from the gun, it's Brady. He finds Aguilar over the middle. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. By 20! By 20! Throwing his Brady on third down. Looking for the end zone. Looking for Crowder, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Sidney Jones. And they get the football, but not much on the return here as he stopped at the seven-yard line. Well, I tell you, Brandon, this ball's intercepted, but it is third down. So the silver lining is that since this is so far down the field and there wasn't a big run back associated with it, really this kind of works like a punt. It's not an altogether bad result. Looking to throw. Green. They'll roll him out right. Pressure gets to him, and down he goes. Back at the four-yard line. Well, if an offense is going to throw the ball in this part of the field, 
Any pass rusher will tell you that's his favorite part. Gets a chance to get after the quarterback. It's almost like a reverse red zone. They can create points using their defense, and this time they take their man down. From deep in their own territory, they look to throw. Over the middle, that's caught by QT. And he gets it up to the 10-yard line here. That catch good for five. It's third down. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position. down carry it's Michelle and he'll fight forward to about the 27 yard line a gain of three second down what's the old expression three yards in a cloud of dust in this case it's dust covered pellets it's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up now we've got that artificial surface you see the pellets go up still a nice play by the defense and he'll be hit as he releases it and that'll fall incomplete. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. The Saints on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and seven. Now Green from the gun, he'll throw. And a third down pass falls incomplete. It is tough to complete pass against zone defenses. The windows that you see open, they shrink pretty rapidly. How about being able to hit a moving target against the zone before the next guy can get there and make a play on the ball? Not easy for any quarterback, no matter the situation. And there, the defense won the battle. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. Shaq Thompson in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. 20, 20. On second down, Johnson. And an alley to run. And they're able to get this one across the 35. They got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets them a new set of downs. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. Wide open receiver complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Brady now. 6 of 10 in his first down. He's got his guys a first down here. They fake the handoff. Now Brady. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Seems like this defense, especially the secondary, has really been contesting about every throw in this first half. Remind me of a good half-court defensive basketball team. Every time a pass is thrown, they're right there and gets the game. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sacked back at the 46. Shaq Thompson getting him once again his third sack of the afternoon. Throwing on third and long. Brady. He finds Matthews. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A really nice gain of 25 yards. But give the defensive guys a little bit of credit. They didn't let the deep ball beat him on that play, did they? No, the, the drag. That guy can be your safety valve. We saw it right there. Yeah, and it picked up a first down for him, too. Down to the 25. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. The throw on second down by Brady is incomplete. And incomplete here, so a little razzle-dazzle on that one, but they couldn't hook up, and it's third down. 20, 
Paul Start's going to push him back, but these days, how hard must it be to be an offensive lineman? It's very hard, Brandon. You've got defensive linemen flinching, trying to draw you offside. You've got the loud crowds, and there are just so many super athletic players on defense now that you have to deal with each week. But through it all, these guys just sit in there, pressure from his right, and he goes down hard, flat on his back. Keenan Robinson in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon. to the football it's blocked those really long field goals when they are made they are things of beauty but there is a danger to getting them started isn't there yeah with that low drive you've got to really keep it low to the ground don't you to get that distance yeah hard to just pop it up in the air because otherwise it's not going to get there so he's got to drive it low in order to have the distance and that usually puts it in jeopardy gives him a chance to block it and everyone knows it on the other side that's when you get your best jumpers on the other side of the field and try and get up and get it To throw is green. Off play action. Sliding out of the pocket. And he'll be forced out of bounds shy of the line of scrimmage. So that'll be credited as a sack. That's going to go as a loss of two. And it'll be second down. Flex round! Flex round! Cut! And here's green. Looking to throw on second down. And that is incomplete. When we start looking for big-time corners, we're going to start with athleticism. But without technique, you're not going to make plays as one we just saw there. The Saints on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third down and 12. Green now. Operating from the gun. And that is incomplete. Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. Looked like an I-4 at rush hour in your hometown of Orlando, Florida. An absolute mess. Atlanta now coming out on the field. Wait 20! Wait 20! Brady now on first down. And a quick throw here. That's complete. Now, before this second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Wait 20! Wait 20! Brady to throw on second down. Completes it to Aguilar. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. Brady now... 9 of 15 throwing the ball, 60%, and it's first and 10. Now a handoff, Johnson powering forward, and now running right through it. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. On second down, here's Brady. Crowder's got it over the middle. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. The Falcons on third down. Two for five to this point. This time it's third and three. Shotgun now for Brady. To the sideline. And that's well done. Able to drag the feet. He's going to have the first down. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime to throw it's Brady he couldn't quite hold it got hit ball pops out incomplete this team is not going to make it easy for you they're a physical group and we just saw it there on that play he came in made the contact just as he's trying to haul it in they'll run it now out of the gun and he's going to take this one up only to about the 44 yard line Falcons going to use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Wait 20! Wait 20! On third down, Brady. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right? Whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, 
comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, doing a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. Back to throw. Green flushed out right. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. So he was past the line of scrimmage when he threw it. And as they say, that's a no-no. Got to be able to understand where you are on the field and not cross the line before throwing the ball downfield. To throw is green. To throw on second down. Working the middle here. That's complete to Everett, the tight end. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up a third and one. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. And he will have the first down here as he's up to the 15. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. First and ten. They'll find Everett there, complete. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. Throwing on first down. And he will find his man on the outside. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. As they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. And here's Green on first down. Over the middle, it's complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two, as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. Throwing on first down, Green. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Green to throw again. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. So we have reached halftime with the visiting Saints out on top. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. Set now to go for the third quarter. The Saints have the lead and set to receive the kick. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Out come the Saints now. They'll go on offense first here to begin the third quarter. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. On second down, Michelle. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. 
In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. And just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. So from the 36 now, first and 10. scramble there it'll be second and a couple and that was not a bad scramble there on first down he didn't force it nor did he throw it away he was able to take off and now he made it a very manageable second and short they'll run it now out of the gun and he'll be taken down at the 46 yard line give him three yards and a fresh set of downs Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Keeping it on the ground on first, Michelle. And no room to maneuver there. Give him a yard up to the 47. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Green down, looking to throw on second down. Forced out to his left. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. He'd had some success as a runner previously on this drive, just not as much space there that time. Yeah, this time when he pulled it down, they were ready for him, so I think he's got to fling a few in order to open up that running lane again. Got an open man, it's QT. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. This quarterback now, just 8 of 16 thus far, 50%, but it's first and 10. seven-yard line. Credit the tackle there to Uchenna Nuosu. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Michelle once again. And he'll go down at the 28. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Michelle. And he's going to bring this one down to right about the 20 yard line. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. 
They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point. Going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Took till the second half, but finally a red zone opportunity here. They come up first and 10 at the 16. On the handoff, it's Michelle. And this play gets blown up. They'll lose yardage back at the 17. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Saints. They'll be looking to expand their lead here. They've got the football as we start the fourth. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Flex round! Flex round! Now a pitch out to Michelle. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. Sony Michelle, his second touchdown on the season. And the Saints now add six to their lead. Extra point from McManus is good. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. Fielded about a yard deep. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Wait, 20! On first down, Brady looking to hit Matthews, but it's intercepted. Teron Johnson able to pick it. He was looking for Matthews that time. Partner, we always talk about possessions being at a premium in these games, and now in this situation, throwing an interception here when you have to claw your way back in, that one's going to hurt, and in a big way. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. With this lead and the football, things obviously looking good, but maybe, you know, you've taught me this before, maybe this is where the defense is hoping that the offense helps them preserve that shutout that they've got going. And it has to be in the minds of the offense that they know how rare it is to get a shutout. So take care of them, protect them, take care of the ball, move it downfield, run the clock down. You don't want your defense to have to go on the field again the rest of the game. Reward them. Now Green to throw on second down. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked off at the 14. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Two-score game here in the fourth. And that pick, it kind of keeps the door ajar, doesn't it? It does. And you wonder about their strategy because with a two-score lead, you think maybe just sitting on and trying to drain some clock. It's almost like they felt like, hey, we've got a good cushion. We can keep pressing it. It ended up costing them. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. To throw again. Brady. Dumping it off for Johnson. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. Wait, 20! Wait, 20! Brady now on first down. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. So they had the big loss on that first down pass play and facing a second and long. Again, it's Brady. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. That catch good for five. It's third down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Just a five-yard pickup, but it leads to fourth down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just let him lead the game out that way. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. 
It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Throwing on first down is Brady. And he's taken down here by the Saints. Keenan Robinson able to disrupt yet another pass play. His third sack of the afternoon. Wait, 20! Wait, 20! Now Brady throwing on second down. And this is caught. I think he got that with one hand. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. Call it a loss of two on the play. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. From the gun, it's Brady. And a big loss here as he's taken down. One thing they definitely like about this youngster is his motor. He is full throttle on each and every snap. Loves to get after the quarterback. And that has to feel good to him right there. His first career sack. Now Brady. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. Picked off by Trey Boston. And they have possession. And they have it at the 38-yard line. On fourth down, that turned out like a punt. Maybe he was better defensively there just to knock it down. And you know they go over those situations. All right, fourth down, where's the ball? Where would we get the ball? But instinct takes over, and when it's in the air, they just go and get it. So it's hard to get on him for intercepting it, but the smart play would have been what you suggested. Knock it down and take over in a deeper position. They'll run it. This is Michelle, and he'll take this one down to the 36. And defensive back Jamal Adams in on the stop. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. And it looks like this will be the last play before the two-minute warning. The play clock getting low, so Sean Payton says let's take a timeout. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Michelle. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And they're able to get this one past the 30, down to the 25. Time for a break. We'll come back to wrap this one up after this. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. Open space inside the ten. And he's all the way down to the six-yard line. That good for 19 and a first down. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well-conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. The play clock getting low, so Sean Payton says let's take a timeout. As he'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down.
A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Trying to pound it in here with Michelle. Working for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. And the Falcons going to use another timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Come on, let's go! White 90! White 90! He's going to get it running right, and he stopped immediately there. It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. So stuff for no gain on second down brings up a pretty interesting third from this distance. I'm throwing the ball, and I'm not even thinking about play pass. I'm going to let them know right away I'm throwing it, but I'm probably giving my quarterback some room, sprint him out to one side or the other, and give him an opportunity that if it breaks down, he can take off and run for it. And he's got him. It's caught. Zone touchdown, New Orleans. Gerald Everett with his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Saints add on to their lead. And it is now 21 to nothing. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. Falcons going to use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go in the football game. Looking to throw on second down. Brady. Pressure gets to him and down he goes. Back at the four-yard line. Shaq Thompson. Who else? He's in there for his fourth sack of the afternoon. 